Good morning everyone. I want to do another video about breakfast recipes. So if you'd like, continue watching. Good morning. I'm going to be making variation of my normal breakfast. I usually do cabbage and eggs, but I went to the store yesterday and I'll show you some of the cool stuff that I've been getting now. Here is my cooler that I don't put ice in. I just put things in it and then I've got a few things out already. 18 eggs, some cheese, mozzarella cheese to go on tortillas to make quesadillas. I had one last night. It's a really quick meal and as long as I keep my cooler cool, the cheese will do well. I got some bacon. That's what I'll be using in breakfast this morning. I got some bananas at the store yesterday and some of these Bolt House drinks. I really like the vanilla chai. I got the berry boost and then I already drank the green, daily greens. Onions are always good to add to meals. I got asparagus. Asparagus is super easy to use. You can put it in a pan, you can put it in the oven, but obviously I don't have an oven, so I just chop it into little bits and then stir fry it with onions and other things like mushrooms. I got some white mushrooms. I absolutely love mushrooms and haven't been eating them in a while, but now I'm eating them again. I got some nice avocados and then the normal ingredient of a head of cabbage. There we are, it's gonna be a big breakfast. The reason why I do cabbage and eggs for breakfast is because I can keep eggs and cabbage for a pretty long time and it keeps better than lettuce. I just cut off little bits of the cabbage head and chop it up and it stays pretty well in my cooler for a while. Eggs have always stayed good. I've never had a bad egg in the two and a half years that I've been eating eggs out of a non-iced cooler. My friend Kyle was eating cabbage and eggs before I did. I was just frying up eggs and then eating a on toast or something like that. Anyways, I'm gonna start cooking and the recipe is that I just buy stuff at the store that I like and then I throw it all together. That's my cooking style. It's experimental for sure and not everything always turns out well, but I've done this a few times. So first off, I'm probably gonna chop up some onions and asparagus and mushrooms. I'll break up some mushrooms and I'll saute them together in a pan with a little bit of oil. And then once that is cooked down and the asparagus is probably gonna be the last thing to be tender enough, then I'll throw in some chopped up cabbage, let that break down for a minute, and then do the eggs. Before all that, I will do, I'll probably cook my bacon because actually instead of using canola oil, I can just use the bacon grease from cooking the bacon. Yeah, so that's gonna be my big breakfast of the morning. I do all my shopping at Walmart, and if there's not a Walmart, of course I'll go to other grocery stores, but my preferred place is Walmart because of the price. I'm going to just open up this package and take some pieces of bacon out, and I'll cut it in half. To store the bacon, I'm gonna put it in some tin foil. So, I like to, oh, looks like the bacon's sticking a little bit here. So, I like to put my bacon with a fork. That's what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to start chopping up some things for the next step. Bacon is really greasy. I'm gonna put this down there and let the paper towel soak up all that grease. Just gonna do a few of the asparagus. So you don't really want to eat the bottom parts of asparagus because they're too woody and bleh, just they don't taste good. Put those in there with the bacon grease. I'll light this up again. I am breaking apart the mushrooms. 
You can leave them whole if you want, but I just like to break apart. The key to keeping mushrooms good is that there are some little breathing holes in the plastic usually, but you don't want to let a little bit of condensation form on the plastic. That's what will make the mushrooms go bad. You need to keep them as dry as possible. So sometimes my cooler gets really um, tons of condensation in it and then that's when my stuff starts going bad. So I try to pay attention to that. Seasonings, I like to put in curry and then it'll already have the taste of the bacon from the grease and I'll put in a little bit of salt. Looks like the bacon grease has all been used up and I'll put in a little bit more. Canola oil to help it along. All right. It's all done. It looks super good. I might put on a little bit more salt, but it's ready to go. I'll show you a little bit of camp. We had a really nice camp spot overlooking the Verde Valley. And Kyle likes to have day fires. I hope this recipe gave you guys some ideas on other breakfasts you can make. I am going to go eat my delicious breakfast now, but be sure to check the links down below. I am starting a podcast. It is going to be is very inconsistent, but uh, hopefully bringing you guys some really cool stuff. And then I am also working on a website. Uh, I'm kind of nervous telling you guys that it's live already, but it's uh, CuriousCarly.com and just working on it, gonna have a space that all my stuff kind of comes together, my YouTube and social media, and I'm gonna try and sell digital prints of my photography, because I started out um, doing photography before I did video, and uh, some other just like really cool things that you can go look over there. I'm kind of creating some sticker stores and making designs to put on t-shirts and things like that. If any of that interests you, please, I'll put the link down below and you can check it out. It is still unfinished. And if you would like to help me in any typos I've done, you can send me an email over to CuriousCarly at gmail.com. Thank you guys again. I will see you in the next video. Stay curious.